The title of this video is Animals Can Be Cloned at Embryo Stage. It's very specific, but it's a specific piece that the syllabus wants to point you towards. So let's make sure that we understand this. So you know that if you were once a, you know, you were once a single cell and that single cell was the result of a sperm cell and an egg cell combining together. Half genetic information joining with half genetic information to make whole genetic information. This is how it works for sexually reproducing species. And humans are a sexually reproducing species. We have to combine genetic information and it's created all these other challenges. So a lot of the reasons for why we are the way we are is because humans reproduce sexually as opposed to asexually. So in the beginning, you maybe look like this, just one cell. And after some time, some division happened and it turned into two cells. The thing is, this is mitosis these two cells are actually identical cells and when they divide it and turn into four all of these cells are identical that's the important thing you need to keep in mind that after the two cell four and it goes to these different stages and you end up with eight then 16 cells so on and so forth every one of those cells is actually identical so what does this statement mean clone at the embryo stage it means that theoretically when you have a ball of cells let's say you have 128 cells that are actually there if you actually split that ball of cells those two cells are genetically identical to each other. Exact same DNA, exact same genome, exact same genes, and theoretically, those genes will be expressed the same way as well too because the DNA sequence should be 100% identical. There might be a few like, mutations just from errors in DNA replication, but theoretically, that should be exactly the same. So during early development, all cells are pluripotent. That's another thing. So each one of these cells hasn't specialized or turned into anything yet. So theoretically, you can still be able to create anything from these cells that you're starting off with. So if you take this ball of cells here and you split it into two or more parts, each one has the potential to develop into an individual. So you are actually cloning at an early stage. How cool is that? You have made a clone. Coral embryos do this naturally. I think this is a picture of some coral embryos and as they split, they turn into multiple copies and clones of each other. May have been the technique that was used in the Star Wars film, The Clone Wars. I just watched it, I'm really behind. This is where my real world knowledge is going these days. Identical animal twins form this way. So actually, if you had a twin brother and you're a boy, if you're a girl and you had a twin brother, that's not identical twins. You're a, one's a boy, one's a girl. It's not going to make sense. But if you're a boy and you have a twin brother and both of you guys are identical twins, then this is actually what happened. In the beginning, when you were fertilized and turned into one actual egg, it's not correct to say you were fertilized, sorry. When the fertilized egg that resulted from the combining of a sperm and egg cell started off, it got into this like ball stage and then eventually this ball somehow split into two and then developed into two individuals, identical individuals. One thing that you need to kind of understand is this is not such a popular way to clone because the reason I want to clone myself is because I really like my hair. So I already know what my traits are like, so making copies of that would be cool. More good hair. But if you're cloning something at this early stage right here, you don't know what it's going to look like. You haven't seen the genes get expressed. You don't know how tall this kid is going to be. You don't know if this kid has any particular uh, genetic issues. I don't know, any emotional issues related to genes. If this kid has type 1 diabetes or Down syndrome or cystic fibrosis or maybe has the potential to become a future NBA athlete. You can't really tell by looking at this because everybody looks the same at this point. Obviously, a lot of ethical issues come up in the stuff that I was talking about about right now so not such a popular way to clone at this stage because we don't know if the characteristics are desirable wow that opens up lots of moral and ethical discussions so if you're trying to clone at home don't do it because you're probably going to get arrested